for you the rounds, or at least it goes, you know, eight, seven, seven, eight kind of thing. Um, but then on the T side, they just got absolutely smashed. So a little bit worried for uh, at least uh, Mouse Sports on the T side. Then again, they've definitely started to improve their synergies, so that can be a little bit different when we come into this one. And Penta, I think we can both agree, is not on the same level as TSM um, in terms of skill, at least at this moment. But Oops, look at them using that choke point to their advantage, <laughs> trying to force Penta to make their way through. And you know, I, I feel like I feel like if Mouse Sports do win the knife round, <clears throat> they'd want to go CT side. Usually they're the team that like to go the odd side first for some reason, um, but they're not going to be able to. That'll be Penta taking the knife. So pistol round coming up. Which side are they going to go? I'm pretty sure Penta are going to stick over on the T side. No, switch to CT. Is that a CT side rather? Yeah, that's what that's kind that's of what, what, what you meant. meant. That's, what I, that's what I meant. That's what I meant. Because why would you pick the T side on Cobble? Well, I don't know. Some teams do. Mouse sports are the weird one that tend to pick the sides. But there's Chris J. Happy birthday to uh, that man. It's his birthday today. Let's see if he can't get a win here against Penta. Just won his matchup against C Play. Went 2 0 in that one. That just happened previous to this match. So, already coming into this one on a bit of a high, I feel. We'll see if it translates. Oh, well, there you go. I was going to say, see if it translates over to this map, and it seems like it has been able to. Chris Shea just here, the first kill of Taps him. They're hitting this A side as quick as they can as Dennis secures the kill on the Strux. Mm. And Stavros getting completely smoked off. Just spamming through this one. Get some good damage on a Ga B, but not enough to get the kill. Next is gonna. Or sorry, that was on the next. Push up through, realizes. Oh, beautiful. Onto Trouble that. Now, just Stavros. It was the bottom fragger against NIP a moment ago. So he's certainly got some pressure on his shoulders. Going into this one. God B just one taps. I mean, Gobby had two health. Next had nine. They both picked up a kill apiece when they shouldn't have been able to, and Demon don't move. And mate, I, mate, I've just killed like three in here while you were gone. There's, there's so oh, many there flies. Was, it was right behind us. I'm swatting like crazy. I don't know where, where all the flies have just come from. You know summer's <laughs> about to hit when flies are invading the studios. And this is not exactly a small studio. That's the problem. Gigantic air conditioning units is uh, blowing them in. But once again, Crystal goes with the scout. In the second round, the only man that's going to do that, he's trying to cover off a site. Dennis was the one that was coming his way, but we can see on the minimap, everybody is stacking up for this B push. Stavros, though, boosted himself through Skyfall. Might create a bit of a surprise if he can get around the back of them. Spitty's watching, though. I mean, with the smoke being put down, they, they're going to assume that they're going to boost someone up there, and Spitty just going to wait to see if Stavros does push through that or not. But I mean, Masters, they have all the time in the world. No need to rush this. Crystal does have that scout to use, which is over towards the A side oh. by himself and Mouse Sports. They if might only, be back. If only they could see what we see. Hey, that'd be cheating. <laughs> uh, yeah, Spitty is going to get taken down. That's going to be an AK. No, sorry, it's a Galil rescued from the floor. The rest of the team have back to wait. Now he's just testing you. He's landing on your swatter. <laughs> Crystal. They're coming into your crosshairs. He saw them. He just hopped up. He saw them come in. Dennis is going to throw it out. Stavros is going to get smoked out. Crystal's not able to land the shots, unfortunately, though. Is going to get flashed up. Tries to take a look shot around the side. Does manage to get it down. But Mouse are coming out on top. Now it's just pistols against rifles. And that generally doesn't go very well. Trouble he tried to stay sneaky in the corner, but Chris J found him. Just Tampson remaining with the Deagle. And he go huge. It doesn't seem so. Try they eight. Ooh, well, let's say they have eight seconds left. They need to get the bomb down ASAP. They do pick up the, the kills. The bomb or the kill, either or, yeah. I think yeah. they just wanted the kill. So 2 0, Mouse. An expected start. Despite the uh, little sneaky play there, didn't quite work out for Penta. Maybe pushed him a little closer than they were expecting. That means that we're going to see Nex going for an AK as well as Dennis in this second round, and just a tech nine for Spitty. Yeah, no need to invest too much money into this. I mean, Spitty can just send the tech nine. If they win the round, he could probably buy up an op uh, for himself or Chris J. And then Chris J has the uh, the ump, so he's looking for a little bit of extra money in this round anyways. Now, there's going to be a giant stack out of Penta. They have five men here. They're trying to lighten them up with some grenades, at least inside of Mouse Sports. They're trying to spam through as well. I mean, they can probably assume there's going to be quite a few people here over towards the site. And on these uh, on these pistols, like Starbucks, he could come up huge if he gets a kill, but next opens up with a Troubly. And Strux will be able to respawn as Crystal will fall, but this is going to be a whitewash. This is going to be Starbucks, the last man alive, and he will go down. But again, a lot of money picked up for the side of Mouse Sports, only losing one man in this round. And in the rounds prior, 
They've lost mm. actually a total of four people in every round so far. So uh, that's that's pretty damn spot on. You're going to see some major biops coming on the side of mouse boards. Or we should. Chris J and Gobby are still sitting on the umps. Are they really mm. keeping these? Risky play. Risky play. They're sticking with the ump. It's got a good armor pen, that's for sure, but uh, through the... Uh, I mean, if they're going to do that, they, they need to get in close quarter combat, but Gobby is like ridiculously far away for this potential fight. Uh, they want to pick up some men forwards and just really punish the side of Penta. Oh, I, I really don't know why they're keeping these. Chris J yet to be smoked off. They did get flashed on B. They're actually already pushing out a B site. So Chris J has found Crystal. B site opening up. We see Speedy getting ready for the drop here. Probably just below. He's going to get flashed up. Just try and get a peek on him. Got a glimpse as well. I figured it out. Because Penta hasn't picked up many kills, they're not investing in the head armor. Yep. And that's where the SMGs are going to absolutely destroy them. Took me a while, but I got there. We're good. It's good. The cogs are working a little slower than it's, usual tonight. It, they're going so slow today. No trouble, though. Going to get flanked for the backside. Gabi picks up another kill. That's, again, so much money. That's a second kill with the up this round. Now Strux, the last man alive. Trying to secure at least one kill for his team. And he, he could get flanked. Like, he's just trying to save his gun. This is this is absolute slaughter by Mouse Sports. Gobby almost got 9,000. He's going to have over 9,000 coming out of this round. Now, oh, come on. Say it. Say it the right way. What, 9,000? Strokes. Is he going to be able to save this? Are they going to be able to hunt him down? Gobby is looking. Searching. Yeah, he's going to expect him. He's going to walk into the crosshairs if he continues on the route that he's going. No, not going to check over to the right. I think he's expecting him to go up into the... Uh, but look at this, though. Gobby, M4. Chris J, M4. They upgraded from Ump to M4 with <coughs> without spending absolutely yeah. nothing. If anything, they made money upgrading. Oh, money, money, money. 11k. Got beat. Five and zero. Five kills for Nex as well. Penta there, really. This is going to be 5 0. I don't see Penta being able to pull anything miraculous from this one unless Strux goes on a magical killing spree or they pull off some uber surprise on towards Mouse. Mouse themselves are going to be pushing straight in. Tabson's about to get very busy down there. Chris J is going to be the first man that comes peeking around. Strux, the only man with that M4, does take a look. Ooh, Tapson got close to taking down Chris J there with the Deagle. Going down to seven hit points. He's struck. Oh, it's one of those moments that you're never sure whether you, if you push through the smoke, whether it would work, whether it would backfire. That may have worked. It may have caught him around, but that's by surprise. Troubly, he's going to get dropped down on Spitty. Put the damage down on him already, and that forces him out of there. And the rest of Mouse working their way in. Crystal goes down, burns down. And there they're already in B site. Stavros and Strokes trying to come in but this this is kind of what we expected honestly this is the expected start and a solid start from mouse balls this is kind of the starts they need to be making and we're seeing really the difference in teams the difference in those weeks those progressive weeks that have been working out between the two teams mouse balls definitely getting and stepping things up and you can see well look at the money across the board on the t side fourteen thousand for god being out Massive amounts of cash. Oh, forget the money. Look at the kills the side of Penta has. Four kills total. Oh, I said still. that back in round three. Yeah. They are not getting any kills. And I mean, you could obviously assume that, or you can kind of understand considering they lost the pistol, um, then they lost the next two after that. But in the first gun run, they still didn't kill anyone. And these rounds are just becoming so smooth, so clinical, so perfect out of Mouse Burst. Dennis picking up two. And this was a buy round. They're going to completely cut them off yet again towards Connector. And Trouble now oh, will be able to two. respawn with Crystal. But either way, it's still going to be a three-on-three. They have they still have so many kills to get. And at the rate they've been picking them up, it's going to be even more difficult. Well, they've got 50% more kills so far. Make it 75 as Stavros gets himself another. Trouble gets another. 100% more kills in this round. Dead is the last man. He picked up the two openers. And now he finds himself all alone. That molly will cause problems. No. Nope. Trouble, no. The he smoke. got extinguished. I think the smoke caught it. Yeah. Just on the angle. Crystal could peek at the right moment. They're both going to come out at the same time. Why are they I think they're gonna, there? I think they're going to use Trouble is that... Oh, he's not going to expect a second person there. There's no way. And Crystal comes nice. around the corner. That was really questionable at first that they did line up and come out at the same time, but well used. And that's finally Pentagon on the board. The Mouse Sports, they have so much money that they don't even really mind losing that round. And now they can finally... Or they can go to ops if they want to. And there we go. Chris J picking up his. We're going to finally see it. And this man is always a beaut to watch on the AWP, but Crystal... This man's hurting on money. He's just sitting there with a shotgun. Just the Nova. Hmm. <clears throat> well, he had the... It was him, actually, that had them four. So he just gave that one away. He was the man that survived. Was he not? No, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. He, he was, gave it yeah. over. 
So he's going to play it really close, really personal, really in your face, and that's over towards B, towards Ooh. Long Haul. Strokes has been boosted over on A. They may try and catch out Gobby and Dennis. Chris J taking the peak. Yeah, it comes down to Chris J, though, if he can hit these off shots towards B. Gobby and Dennis not pushing up towards Long Haul. And taps him with the bait. Will they expect the second man there struck? He's going to peek out for it, and they will spot oh. him out. He gets the ding, but not the kill. And now Mouse Lords can just completely rotate back towards A if they want to, but they're still trying to hammer on over towards B. And Crystal picks up a kill on Chris J with the shotgun. That's an op not picked up for him. And we saw against NIP how damn deadly this guy is with an op. It's a good amount of money as well with that shotgun kill. We've seen uh, shotguns being picked up by Penta in the past. It's normally Trouble, actually, that goes for it. Crystal... If he keeps his eyes trained down there, he would have seen him. Oh, the, the timing. It's all about the timing sometimes. And Spitty did just step across. That would have been straight in the cross as a crystal. But as it was, it wasn't to be. Trouble is the man holding the angle while Crystal holds himself. It's a tricky angle because he's completely in the open while he tries to hold this position. And it's always a risk. Finds one, doesn't get the second. Dennis will. Stavros now all alone. On the rotate back from A. He had to go all the way over there to try and cover it off. He's going to save. So that's going to be 6-1 for Mouse Sports now. A big score. Some would argue should have been 7-0 because they probably shouldn't have lost that last round. Have to get in the opening two frags for Dennis. But nonetheless, take what you can. And a 6-1 T-side start is very good. It's phenomenal. And because of the economy game that they're playing, um, because they did lose one, and they're going back to winning again, the whole win bonus out of Penta is going to be shattered. And not, I'm not really sure they have enough money to buy up next round. They really shouldn't. Yeah, they're sitting on just a sliver of uh, of money in their pockets. And you, then you have 13k for uh, next. You have 12 or 11k for Dennis. Like, they can't buy up this round. And this should be round 7 in their pockets unless Stavros can come up big with the M4. Well, well, well. Let's see what they can do. Stavros is going to be sitting on that M4. Let's see where he goes with it. the rest of the team. Sticking, obviously, to the pistols. Not going to get anything. Oh, Crystal went for head armor. Okay. Well, is he following the M4? Mm, is he following no. Stavros? Stavros is over all the way on A. So Crystal... Not sure on that one. He's uh, boosted up Tapson. But that's about all. Probably just... And the drop, unbelief, mm. Skyfall, that grenade's going to be on him, spots out. Spitty gets himself an easy start there. Strux was trying to hold things up there. Got himself boosted once again. Didn't work out last time with an M4. Let's see if it works with a P250. Well, there goes Crystal. That uh, head armor not really put to use there. Not sure on that one. Yeah, I was wondering if maybe it was a misfy or maybe they're trying to equal up money, but yeah, it's kind of hard to really analyze what that was. But... That's going to be Mouse Sports taking the B site yet again. Another plant. Looks like Stavros is going to be able to keep his M4. And Strux able to keep an AK unless it's going to be chased down. So now they'll at least have money to give, or at least guns to give over to their teammates if they need to. They should be able to fully buy up in the next round. But they'll still be down 7-1. Mouse Sports just put it on a show. I think they're really, like I said before, the win will be good for both teams. But it's all about revenge for Mouse Sports. It's all about showing that, you know, the three players that left Penta over to them was the right move for those players. And, I mean, they're playing for blood. You could just see that they're, they're hungry for these kills. And they're hungry for just rubbing in how big this, vict or this victory can be. The thing is, for me, the Penta are just not not showing anything. They, they, you know, they're sh just not showing signs of improvement. Well, we at saw, all. Well, we saw on uh, on Overpass with them versus NIP. Like, their CT side was okay. Mm. They mm. had a decent start. They went 9-6. But this um, is their CT side. Exactly. exactly it is not right. okay. Um, and their T side is going to be even more rough, especially on this map, where it's it's all about these executes and performing well together. Um, but I think they're just kind of... What I mean, they got, money, they got money screwed at the start. There's they, no doubt about it, because obviously... They only they had, get kills. They, they only had four kills, yeah, in the first three rounds. So, actually, the first five rounds. So, you know, you're not getting the kills. You're not going to get any money. You're not winning the rounds. You, it's just... It's all against the you, especially is, the CT side. They've only played once as this new roster on Cobblestone. That was against Titan, where they lost 16-5 in the Pro League. So Yeah, I remember that game as well. Yeah. <laughs> so, definitely, uh, one of these, these are definitely one of the maps that, unfortunately for them, is not one of the strongest at this time. Yeah, definitely one they've not put any time into, it would appear. Whereas Mouseports, 
Looking to be a good one for them at the moment. Or, well, whether it's just the opposition they're up against us. It is. This is the first solid A play they're going to try, but it looks like the calls come in. Cobbies told them back away. We're going to rotate things and maybe make our way back over towards B. Unless they just caught a glimpse of something there. Well, Strux has found Chris J. So his AWP shot not landing. And now it's down to Spitty to try and draw some attention over on B site. He's managed to keep three people there. And this is a good round for Penta uh, so far. Because Mouse Wars are taking the time. The clock is running down. 30 seconds. And they're going to have to push. They're going to have to go for this. And Trouble and Taps are going to rotate in as quick as they can from Connector here to stop this because they realize there's not a lot of time. But Stavros, I love his spot behind Truck, but he can't connect anything next again. Coming up big like he does every single time for Mouse Sports. And now Taps are trying to push in to help out. He's the last man alive with Crystal. He'll get absolutely shut down. And now Crystal's going to be forced to try to save his gun. God, or at least was... try to challenge. And I, I think both of them is just going to be a failure. That was absolutely awful from Penta. They had five-man defense. They had the positions. No, they were well, holding out. They had two men two men on site, three actually trying to rotate back mm. from B that got cut off by a smoke. But, but the two men who were in sight, they have the advantage from where they were. Like we saw Stavros right behind truck. Didn't connect like a single shot. But at 30 seconds, like at that point, they had five sitting deep on B. Like you know they're going to hit a site hard at, 30, at the 30-second mark. They had no information because nobody had scouted. They'd pulled completely back. They'd seen already Chris J on A. They'd already got the kill on Chris J A. And then they just sat there, sat there, sat there. It's like, okay, they're going to hit one of us hard. The rotate came, but it was forlorn, I think it's safe to say. is It was just... Uh. We have to keep in mind the way Mousewords played. I think it was two rounds prior. I guess they, I guess, I mean, I guess they had no nothing to counter. I didn't, I didn't see how many flashes or smokes they had, actually, well, on the, on we, the push. We had to got B, back. and I think it was next push long A, where the rest of the three members of Mousewords sat B and then executed onto the B site. So, like... Mousewords have changed up their strategies really well and spreading out really well, winning out these 2v2s, which allows, you know, Penta not get comfortable and not read into their strats appropriately. And Strux, I think, is looking to go through that smoke potentially. But yeah, I mean, you're definitely right. You know, Penta, they should have read into that a little bit more and maybe should have expected it. But Mousewords, they just seem to be on fire. Next, in particular, is having a fantastic game, 13-1. and one. I just feel that one of the guys that were over on B-side maybe could have just had a little peek, a little scout, just a sneaky peeky, just a, a look to see what's going on. Because they were caught at that was a bit of a mistake. Got B, nobody saw that, it's alright. Nobody watching, I'm sure. Got B's gonna work his way up. Spotted one on long, he's gonna go aggressive. There's oh, two men behind two him. Behind him, yeah. I was gonna say Crystal's around the corner, they're not gonna expect it. He's gonna push on round. And they will find him. Got B's onto site. Dennis now realizes it. Dennis is thinking this is a weird situation. They cut apart. Speedy not gonna expect trouble there, but he will manage to come out of top. Dennis. Oh, Dennis is gonna find Stavros. Stavros just walked straight past him, yeah. Didn't look down. They didn't expect another person to still be lingering. And now it's just Crystal with your trying to make Dennis tracks. Dennis is chasing. He, kn he knows Crystal's over here. <clears throat> Uh-oh. He's in the open. He's just going to use the statue. Oh, but dude, does, it, does he juke them? <gasps> oh, the double! Oh, no! That's twice tonight, Crystal. I'm feeling for you with this orb. He almost got himself the ace against NIP. They were lined up for him. And again, he doesn't manage to get the kills. <laughs> oh, dear. That's when it's not really going your way, hurt. it's not going your way, is it? Mm -mm, not at all. And Mouseports are currently up 9-1. to one. Strux able to pick up an op for himself. Interesting to see him uh, actually be the one to take. I guess Crystal missing those two shots now. Kind of makes him not want to play the AWP. Then again, he's actually playing kind of close over towards the A side. But Strux will be holding long haul with this. And he won't be given an opportunity to actually uh, go for a pick anytime because Mouseports, they're pushing over towards B and Crystal. Almost get his head completely blown right off, but a nice nade comes in, does connect and soften them up really well. Mouseports, they're trying to flash, they're getting smoked off, they're being forced back. And it looks like this B hit won't be happening anytime soon. Yeah, that was stopped dead in its tracks. Great nade, as you pointed out. Did a heck of a lot of damage. Dennis actually forced to step back as well. It's like, whoop, spreading, spreading, spreading. Keep backing up, keep backing up. And Crystal's pushed through the smoke. Crystal's actually gone aggressive. He's going to try and push on through and try and catch them on the back. It's all on the Spitty. Will Spitty hear them? Will he hear him running around? Oh, he's actually just going to sit in this corner, waiting for them to actually execute on towards the B site, but we can see they're not doing that. Strux, he's actually pushed up long haul looking for Chris J, who has the bomb. He's being forced back. And Spitty, it looks like he might potentially go down drop dash. Crystal's still sitting in that corner. Oh, they're pushing straight up middle. They might be able to catch him off. There's three see, men off to the right. 
This is this is exactly what I was saying. Crystal should have done in the previous match, the previous round. This is this is the position because he knows he's got all the information. He knows they're all here, and then actually setting up and adjusting for it perfectly. Tabson and Stavros Crystal's in a good right position. Behind him. Crystal coming up. He's got to make track, so he's got to get up behind him quicker. He does manage to get one, gets a second, and a third! Brilliant stuff from Crystal. That's what he could have done before. Spinny, the last man. He's going to have to go huge here. Penta, could they get themselves a second round on the board? A vital round, honestly, when they're this far behind. Oh does my. get himself a beautiful one onto Strock set. No time. Great reactions, but like you say, no time. Crystal with the rotate. He also pushed through the smoke as well. That was a, a dangerous time. Did manage to flash push it through it there. I think probably expected more, but as we can see on Mouse Sports, they've still got a hell of a lot of cash, so it's not really a problem for them. We can just buy straight back up on that. Can't say the same for Penta, though. They're yeah. invested into a Max 7, and Stavros will at least get an M4 in his hands, but a Famous for Taps, and they just they don't have the money to spend it. If Mouse Sports win this round again, they'll be money screwed, <laughs> and they're looking at, you know, potentially a 10 plus round deficit into the first half, or going into the second half. An economical deficit. That's the, uh, I guess, the correct term. There we see Molly slowing things down. Chris J trying to get a peek over that one. Got B flashing his way in. Oh, took the leg clean off Crystal. That was a headshot. <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> yeah, he flicked back <laughs> quickly. Wow, I thought that was a leg shot too, but look at this. Another solid round for Mouse Sports. Strux and Thompson left out in the cold yet again. <laughs> Hitboxes, please. Maybe he, can he flicked that fast. That was, I mean, it's obviously... It's got to be a spec mode well, thing. Well, it's, it's a spec mode thing. Of course it is, yeah. I mean, it's just what we see. What we see is close to what they're doing. I, I want to say Mouseports is just letting Penta, like, win a round on the occasion just to keep the money screwed. Like, now strikes the last one alive. Mouseports executed a lot quicker over towards being completely open up the site. And there we go, 10-2. No money to spend for Penta in the next round. Honestly, Mouse Sports could pull off a 13-2 first half. Like, 11-2 is almost guaranteed at this point. Yeah, 12-3, absolutely nailed on, I would say. 13-2 would be disastrous <laughs> for Penta. Could win it after the pistol for all they get. Still, a chunk of change for Mouse Sports. They've got bank built up for these remaining rounds. And now, of course, once again, it's pistols. For all Penta. Let's see where the nades go. Oh, they're actually walking into them. So they've got a four stack on A here. But we've seen Dennis in this situation against M4s before. Gets one, gets two. Does it again. This time Nex actually stole one, but they're just going to run straight in. They will. They're still meant two men towards long. Mousepots aren't even going towards stairs because they don't really care too much. Trouble now just trying to spam through the smoke. And Dennis is the one to rotate around behind them towards long. Nex does shut that down. Gobby going to get the plant in sight. Shucks does finally get a kill. Did they... Do they not know Crystal was there? No. Crystal was being shot at, and Crystal does secure a kill. Now he's trying to get the kill on the Crystal, maybe a second one over towards site on the God B. And he will try to do something oh. tricky and flashy. But there we go, 11-2, and Penta. I don't know if it's just the map, or it just shows how far Mouseports has come as a team that Penta has not in these mm. last three weeks. I think it's a mix of both. It's uh, a mix of not getting kills in those first five rounds as well, because... I mean, it's it's hard to come back from when you're that that low down on the cash. But 11-2. Mouse Sports dominating Penta here. Penta once again on that mishmash of a buy. Trying to set up some sort of defensive strategy. Trying to figure out where Mouse Sports are going to hit this time around. Once again, it's Gobby creeping through. Tapson's ready. He's going to catch him. That's the bomb as well. So they know that the bomb is over on A site. Now they're actually pushing through Chris J. Getting pressured, but he will take down Crystal. That was through smoke. He's got another with him. Oh, and he doesn't land the no scope because the Mag 7 from Troubly will catch him. But look at Spitty sitting so deep back around on that B site. And now Mouse once again moving in. Stavros suddenly all alone. Well, you saw, if you're watching the minimap, Stavros ran back towards B right before uh, his teammate died towards long because that shows like how Mouse Sports haven't shown where the bomb is necessarily and how mysterious they've been. They sort of got B with the bomb. Did they see? The, the, the first kill, the first kill, we saw the bomb. back towards B all I of a sudden. I have absolutely no idea. I wouldn't have that myself, because we saw there was the very first kill was got B dropping that bomb. And, yeah. Well, I mean, that just goes to show maybe the communication wasn't there. He got the kill and maybe just didn't say anything. I don't know. That's, I mean, you never know. When, let's face it, when you're 12-2 down, everybody's played this game a lot. Communication does sometimes dry up.
And uh, it's, it's probably one Sticking way of back to it. our games oh, when we start to get smashed. <laughs> yeah, it's just like everybody's out of ideas. Nobody wants to talk. Everybody's annoyed with someone. They feel somebody could have done something better somewhere. Never going to blame themselves. The same old issues come around. And pro players, especially a team that's being smashed week in, week out at the moment, is uh, things like that definitely will, you know, cause problems. That's just why they're trying these few little rash plays. They're going to try and push a little peek through smoke here. Chris J. I think Nex is going to find one, maybe two now. Will push. Yep, that's going to be a double for Nex. And now B-Site opened up. It's a weird game because B-Site's barely been hit. Chris J takes down trouble there. Tabs and the strokes on a rotate. Ordinarily on Cobblestone, you would definitely see a T-Site hitting B-Site hard. Hard, hard, hard. Nex gets himself a 4K, I think, at the end there as well. Yep, 13-2, though, in the first half. It uh, sadly tells a woeful story, I think. Uh, one, a story that I wasn't expecting. Well, I kind of was expecting, but I didn't think it'd be this bad. I didn't think, I didn't think it'd be this bad. Not I like, can agree. Not I like this, be this I believe, is the uh, phrase. 13-2. It's a film quote. I'm Sorry, try, I'm try to, no, 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 no. I'm trying to see if you know what movie that's from. Don't she, don't look it up. It's a woman. Come isn't it? on, it's a woman. It's a woman. It. She wears all white. Like this. I can't Her lover died. Yeah, not like this. I can't remember. The black cat that he saw twice. Jesus, you've lost me completely now. The Matrix. It is the Matrix. Yeah. yeah. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. yes, yes. It's the yeah. I know. I know. <laughs> Anyways, back to the game. Penta on the T side. Down 13-2 in the first half. Looking to do something about it this time as uh, Nex in the chicken coop trying to just hold this position. Hold over towards long as Spitty picks up two kills himself. Look at that beautiful 5-7. And I, I feel like uh, Chubby <laughs> won't be able to do much in this one on three. I feel like I feel like Nex just trolled our cameraman. <laughs> he was stood there for ages like missing, missing, missing. The second he changed away, he landed too. <laughs> uh. Uh, pan the cameraman at the moment. Former Penta player many moons ago. It's 14-2 from our sports. It's probably not pretty as an ex uh, Penta player, but I know Chris Jay's his favourite player, so uh, he'll be he'll be he'll be okay with this one. I feel. <laughs> and at the moment, well, they are doing well. The birthday boy. I would say he's uh, having a great game, but he's actually bottom of the scoreboard for Mouse because his next is on 25. He's been the man that's dominating, but I say bottom of the scoreboard at 10 kills. That's the highest that Penta have got on Crystal. It's definitely been one-way traffic this game around, time around. Yeah, it's really hard to kind of look at a score be like, and scoreboard in this in this kind of game and be like, oh, Christian is doing terrible. Well, it's, it's not him <laughs> doing terrible. It's just that they're st absolutely destroying them, and the kills aren't even really being fed his way. Gobby picks up one. And well, actually, no, he won't get the second. Shrux will steal it away from him. And he will finally get a second kill for himself. And Stavros had the last man alive. And this should be with the bomb now in the hands of Mouse Sports, their 15th round. Oh, I do like a good quick game, at least. At least Mouse Sports are making it fast. They're speeding things up here. Stavros will go down. Match point for Mouse Sports. Spitting things up. Spitting things up. That wasn't what I meant. No. No. 16-2. I'm going to write that one down because. You're, you're, call, you're calling it already. Yep. 16-2. They're not going to do anything in this round. they got nothing. they got pistols. If, if, if Penta win this round, will you eat a hat? No. Why would I eat a hat? That makes no sense. I don't know. It's just like the general like thing it's, that you have to do if you're going to make that phrase. big of a wager. It's will you eat one of the hottest chilies in the world if I buy it for you? No, I wouldn't. Because I've seen you after Will you shave your one. head? No, I will not <laughs> shave my head. <laughs> Uh, Louis some vodka and you will change your Stop mind. Stop trying to make me do things that you've done on air. <laughs> <laughs> this is, these, are not, these are not normal things that people do. Now Sports, 15-2 up. Dennis about to get himself a hat full of kills. There's one. No! Tabson! Well, sometimes he can land them with the Tech-9. Crystal's got himself a Gilil, but he's a long way out right now. Stavros is the lurker over at B. But Spitty sat ready and waiting for him. The birthday boy's about to fight himself. Ooh, if only he'd have pulled the trigger the second that flash came in. Would have get himself it. Hello. <laughs> Don't say it ain't over yet. I'm glad I didn't say I'd eat anything. Because <laughs> I'd be, That's what I was thinking about. I'd start be getting my mouth warmed up right now. Whoa, I just got away there. Troubly. There he is going to go down. There we are. 16-2.